Hello all and welcome to the Cymru Nerd K for another episode of a nostalgic, weird, toy goodness. Although it's not really nostalgic, although it is this week, although it isn't, although it is, you will see in a moment. And if you've looked at the old title up there, you'll know anyway. Hope you've all had a good week and that uh, your lives are doing really, really well. Uh, that was a bit creepier than I meant it to be, but that's okay. Uh, oh, and the focus went a bit weird then, but never mind. Let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, I promised this video a little while ago and I thought, you know what, I've got a free Saturday, so why not? Let's do it. We are looking at Turtles of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Variety. Yes, but not S just any kind of turtles. We are looking at the ones that were released a few years back that are the classic versions of the turtles. So similar to the He-Man classics and the Thundercat classics that are coming out and things like Titans Return from Transformers, Generations, that kind of thing. There was a little movement a while back to bring out updated versions of your old favourites uh, and in this case it's updated de uh, versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Note people in the UK and Europe, Ninja. Gone are the days of Hero Turtles, that doesn't uh, happen anymore, no sorry. Um, I will explain why Hero Turtles was a thing in a little while but uh, not just yet. This of course as we can see is Donatello in packet. Yes I have two versions of him. Uh, this is the actual European version. You can tell because number one lots of European writing up there and number two this little symbol here, Giochi Preziosi, I think it's uh, pronounced. That is the Italian or the European distributor for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did check it out. It's not a knockoff or anything like that. It is proper. It is as it should be. It is Playmates and Flair and all those sort of companies. It's just that this particular group, uh, Giochi or Giochi Preziosi, uh, they are the distributors. But uh, really, really cool. Um... Like I say, you get a nice lovely sticker there, inspired by the original TMNT animated series from 1988. Yes, I know it's 87, it came out over here in Europe, 88. And it says very proudly, 34 points of articulation. Uh, Donatello, we won't have much of a look at because we'll have a look at him properly in a moment. But you do have some nice cartoony 1987 representations of the Turtles who we all know and love, and obviously Donatello in purple, because that's what he should be. Let's have a look at the back of the box. Obviously, you've got loads of European and uh, English writing there as well. And there you have uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back like never before in collector quality figures, featuring 34 points of articulation, signature weapons, and classic sewer cover bases. These perfect old-school cartoon recreations will leave you screaming, Cowabunga! Um, and obviously, because they are now owned by our Lord God's Nickelodeon, it has Nickelodeon at the top there. Do you know what? I don't have a problem with it. I think Nickelodeon's been very good for the turtles. We've got a lot more turtly goodness because of them. Um, and it says, look for the classic turtle figures and a very nice, again, cartoon representation of the guys. And of course those, but we'll look at those in a second. So the packaging, very, very nice. It even has sort of like a sewer top on the plastic there. It does say an NY sewer and it's got sort of uh, like a sewer representation manhole cover. Just a, a quick aside there, obviously in movies and that, including the Turtles movie, you do see when you see depictions of New York, steam rising from the manhole covers. Uh, I can confirm, having been to New York a couple of times, that happens, that is a thing. It's not just something that happens on movie, you do get steam rising out of sewers, which is really, really cool when the first time you see it. Um, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, that's the packaging. Again, very, very nice. Love it to bits. Let's have a look at the turtles themselves, shall we? Well, I do have all four. I just have Bebop and Rocksteady, but I'll do those at a later date. But uh, today's all about the turtles. So let's have a look firstly at Leonardo. Now, all these figures are roughly the same, apart from obviously their heads and the color of their bandanas and their pads and obviously their weapons. And the other thing, which I'll take off first, the sewer cover, again, very, very nice representation of a sewer cover. It's got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles symbol on there as well, the old logo, and the name of each individual turtle, and posts as well, which you can plug these uh, parts in, like so. Difficult doing it through a viewfinder, you'll appreciate. And that keeps it pretty sturdy, actually. They stay on pretty well. Uh, the plastic's quite, uh, quite good on these things, so it does stay pretty well on the old figure. Now, Leonardo, obviously, he comes with the strap across him there, the belt with the name 
um, well, with the letter depiction of his name on there, and some very, very nice detailing on him as well. Look on the hand, some very nice detailing on there. Very nice detailing on the bandanas, on the shell as well. The shells are really, really nicely rendered. You know, there's a bit on that one, but never mind, there you go. And uh, he's got his um, sheaths for his uh, katana there, which do work. You can put the katana in there very nicely when I can get that. And take that one out of his hand there. And again, that will go in there. And you do have them very, very nicely sheathed. And they do look really nice in there as well. They are looking ready for action. And you do have... Some really good articulation, like I say, 34 points. I'm not going to count them all because we've been here forever. But his head does roll about as you would want it very, very nicely. His arms do go out, they do go round. Oh, that doesn't look uh, very comfortable. Uh, his bicep swivels, and of course, he's got double jointed elbows there, so you can do quite a bit with them. His wrist goes around, his fingers again, very nicely articulated, so they do go around his fingers and thumb. And his fingers don't go round, but they don't need to. They're grippy, grabby fingers, so there you go. And his legs as well. Oh, I should say, there is a waist crunch. It doesn't really do much. I mean, it's nice if you want to have him a bit hench, like so, a bit hunched over. But mainly, it's it's there. It's nice that it's there, and it does turn around and wiggle, and, it you know, it works. Uh, his legs, get his arm out of the way, do go round as you would want them, and there is a swivel there. There's a double swivel, because there's a swivel there. And then there's a swivel there as well if you need it. Again, his knees are double jointed. And his ankles are on a rocker. Which they do rock and they go up and down. And his toes are articulated as well. Which is really very, very nice. I do like these figures a lot. Um, and like I say, the detailing is great. I mean, if you look at his face, the only thing wrong with his face, and it's been mentioned by a few reviewers before, is the eyeballs are a bit derp derp basically um, if you really wanted to you could wipe them out and start again I prefer not to because in the promotional material they're always a bit herpaderp anyway with the eyes of the turtles I don't really have a problem with it their beaks very much like they were in the original show and it does have teeth showing like on the original turtles figures as well other thing is as well his weapons are color coded um, they are apart from one turtle which is Don and I'll show you that in a second but apart from that, they are all uh, they are all colour coded. As are his bandana, you know, obviously, not well, not that obviously. Sometimes they weren't, were they, uh, in the comics and stuffs? Um, but yeah, that's Leonardo. Leonardo, very very nice. Like him a lot. Very nice figure. We'll leave him there, and we will move on to the guy who does machines. Never liked that designation myself, but here we are. Donny, exactly the same uh, articulation, so I'm not going to bother showing you that again. What would be the point? Uh, but he comes with his bow staff, which he can wield in all kinds of weird and wonderful ways, as I'm sure you can imagine. That goes on the back, on his strap, and that just slips in there. And it's really nice. Sometimes they, they make it really difficult to put his staff anywhere, uh, and even in his, uh, in his sling on his back sometimes. It's always generally quite difficult, but not with this figure. This figure, it's really easy and really nice. And again, the, the detail on the shell, I really do love it. Uh, another thing I love is that his skin colour is ever so slightly different to, uh, to Leonardo, his Donatello, and all the turtles, in fact, as you'll see. So they're all different skin colours, even though they're brothers, and really they should be the same, but never mind. Um, I, I do appreciate the fact that, uh, as with... The original set of toys, their, their skin colours do differ. And Donatello's my favourite turtle, by the way. Uh, why? Because he's a big old nerd like me. Uh, and I do love that. I do appreciate the fact that uh, he was always a bit nerdy. Uh, so I do love Donatello. He is my favourite. Uh, but again, another great figure. Really love it. If you, if you only get one, I would say get Donatello. But then I really love Donatello. So I would say that. But that's Donatello done. Oh, just to prove as well that they are all different. Donatello on the sewer cover and not Donny as I as I thought they may do I thought they might do that and just say oh it's Donny uh, um, next up the guy who's cool but crude Raphael uh, voiced by Vo Rob Paulson obviously in the show originally uh, now voiced by Sean Astin in the, the other turtles um, again very nice figure this 
all done in red and green and again different skin colour to everybody else and again he has R on his belt to distinguish him obviously his weapons are the Psy really nice Psy daggers and again can be used in a multitude of ways so if you wanted to have him with his classic holding them like that then you can do that and you can also hold them in the way that really he would more often use them in the films like that uh, they deposit very nicely in the front like so without stopping in the leg obviously whoops it doesn't want to go in there you go uh, and they deposit very nicely in there like that he, that looks super cool i must admit it does look really cool when he has them like that uh, and of course he's angrier than the rest of them because he's got a double teeth showing because it's Raphael. And again, the detail on the face of these things are very, very nice. It's slightly derpy eyes. Although with him, it's not too bad, actually. It just looks like he's really angry. And he's sort of trying to not knock all of your asses around because he hates you all. But otherwise, again, very, very nice figure. This one's falling over a bit because of its stance. But there you go. <laughs> That's more my issue than the figures. Uh, and again, Raphael. Really cool. Raphael wasn't my favourite as a kid. It was my mate's favourite as a kid. He really loved him. Um, I grew to love Raphael because of the films and other the depictions that he that he's had. Um, but originally, no, it wasn't one of my favourite turtles at all. Um, but as I've grown up, I can sort of understand him a bit more and understand where he's coming from. Obviously, he gets angry a lot of the time at uh, various things. Mainly the fact that, you know, he knows he'll never be normal and can't leave a normal life. And he's a bit pissed off about that. But, uh, yeah, I do like Raphael now. It has to be said. Final one is uh, everybody's favourite, I think, uh, is Michelangelo. Everybody loves Michelangelo when they were a kid because that's who you're meant to love, basically. That's the reason they created him. Um, he's not angry at all because he's got no teeth showing. So he's just a bit contemplative, is Mikey. Because he is a party dude. He's just probably sick of partying at the moment. <laughs> um Again, very, very nice. Again, different skin colour. You will see as I do close in a bit later on that their skin colours are all radically different. Hair, radical. Um, but yeah, again, different skin colour, different bandanas, obviously. Uh, he's always been orange and his weapons are different. He has the nunchucks. Sadly, they don't flail around unless you make them flail around, but they do do it. Yeah, look, look, flailing, flailing. And colour coded to him as well and interestingly enough well I mean, for, they do go on the back like they did in the original toy but it's actually a metal chain that they're on which is very nice and again the level of detail on these things is really nice I really do like you know the detail that these guys went into when making these toys very very nice and there you go they just deposit there I'll only put one in but again not as much of a faff as you'd think um, but yeah that's Michelangelo again M on the old uh, belt there and the belt again all four of them are different they're all separate to their characters which is very nice you know these are basically four figures that share similar parts but are not basically um, just repaints of the same thing they are radically radically different and and that's why I like them but so uh, you will see there now they're all formed up together they do have different skin types so they are all separate from each other. They are all distinct. And that's why I like these figures so much. Because there has been some top level of care shown to them. Uh, now one thing I was going to mention is the Hero Turtles thing. Because some people may be interested. It was called Hero Turtles in Britain. Um, for the rest of Europe as well, kind of. But in Britain primarily because Margaret Thatcher had a massive shit fit in the 80s. About anything sort of uh, martial arty, ninja related or with ninja in the title, or had anything to do with any sort of martial art. Uh, the thinking being that if kids learn about martial arts, they're just going to go roaming the streets, kicking people in the head. Um, never happened. Now, they would say, because we banned it all, I would say, because that's not what martial arts teaches you to do, but there you go. Uh, so Ninja Turtles was the final casualty of this sort of wrong think. Um... Because it had Ninja in the title, they said to the BBC, you can show it, but you can't show it with Ninja in the title. So the BBC said, how about Hero? So they said, all right, fair enough then. So we got the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, not the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, and Mikey's nunchucks were phased out completely. They wouldn't allow it. They cut it from the show. 
Uh, so much so that in America, Fred Wolf and Fred Wolf Productions eventually said, do you know what? It's not worth our hassle, all this uh, having to cut things out and, and put things in. We'll just phase out Mikey's nunchucks altogether. And he got uh, different weapons, uh, mainly the flail that he had, which I think would fuck you up more than a nunchuck. But there you go. What do I know? I'm not really a martial artist. Uh, of course, side daggers they have no problem with. Uh, they have no problem with swords, uh, katana. And they had no problem with, uh, with a bow staff, which is a, effectively just a staff without a broom handle on the end of it. Which, I don't know, it's kind of easier for a kid to get hold of than nunchucks, I would imagine but uh i don't know politicians are idiots nothing changes um but uh, yes these are the classic ninja turtles you should get them uh, if you're in the uk you can get them really cheaply now or you know not at an inflated price at the very least if you go to b&m bargains you will find loads of them uh, available to buy for about 15 pounds uh, which is what they were in the shops, and I would imagine they'd probably get a bit less than that with it being Christmas soon and all that. They want to get rid of the overstock that they have. But they are in the stores, they are out there, and I'm sure you can still get them at Toys R Us and places like that if you don't have a B&M near you. But you need these in your life if you're any kind of Turtles fan like what I am. Uh, because they are really, really cool. They're really, really nice depictions of the guys. And I don't know, there's just a, a level of care and a level of devotion that's being taken into these that you don't often see with these type of figures sometimes. Um, B Pop and Rocksteady are cool as well, which I'll show you another time. It's just a shame that the line got ended before they could properly get things like April O'Neil and Splinter out there. Um, they did do movie figures as well, which I have one, and I will show you that at another time. But uh, that's it for now. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, shout outs to all the people who do watch me. Uh, you're, you're all very gorgeous and lovely people. Uh, I'm still expecting top 10 videos from people like Mercy. Uh, just to put that fire up your ass there, my darling. Uh, and also uh, people like Sam, Paula and Becca. Come on now, guys, this isn't good enough. I want videos. I like doing this way too much. It reminds me of Gordon Ramsay. No, it's fucking raw! Uh, anyway, seeing as everything is going a bit weird with my camera now, I suppose I should be going. But bye-bye uh, for now. And remember, fucking raw!